This week, we are seeing the emergence of President Barack Obama's strongest advocate in 2008, becoming Hillary Clinton's strongest advocate this year, First Lady Michelle Obama. During her speech last night, a Republican strategist tweeted out that the GOP better hope Michelle Obama is serious about not getting into politics herself because she's good at it. One line in particular seemed to move people inside and outside the convention as she described the story of America. The story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. The story of America. So we turn to Colorado's chapter. It is very unlikely that any person in Colorado woke up this morning in a house built by slaves. This state's history of slavery primarily involved native people sold to work in the farm fields of southern Colorado. Legal slavery, though, is written right into Colorado's Constitution, and it is still there today. Section 26. There shall never be in this state either slavery or involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. Voters in November will decide whether to strike that bit about exceptions. The ballot measure is backed by faith leaders and community activists. It sits in my soul wrong. It sits in my belly as disgusting that we live in a state, we live in a nation um, that would ascribe to slavery under any circumstances. Um, particularly in this climate, um, the political climate, the social climate of what our nation is going through. It's time for us to go back and fix some of the mistakes that we've made and allowed in the past. So let's talk about unintended consequences of changing Colorado's constitutional loophole for legal slavery and involuntary servitude. There is a concern that it could create a legal challenge to community service sentences and to prison work programs. The State Department of Corrections says it does not force its prisoners to work, so the state does not have a position on that ballot measure. 